no SpongeBob character mod, don't buy. If I wanted to pick up sticks and rocks in the middle of depression, I'd go live in China. I entered the world and automatically smelled the stench of cringe. Don't Starve Together is a cooperative survival game with crafting, combat, and tons of things to discover. Since its release in 2016, the developers continue to pump out more and more content each year. As such, this game has achieved an overwhelmingly positive score on Steam with over a quarter million reviews. But not everyone thinks this game deserves its praise. Don't snore together. It required too much time. Lax Naked Men. I read every single negative review to determine if they had any merit. It's a complete time waste without the help of wikis or people online. It's so frustrating to lose the world we've worked for, or we're just a bunch of trolls review bomb. It keeps starving. Me too. Stinky Poo. At the time recording, I have 229 hours of Don't Starve Together, and I have yet to leave a review. Let's see what kind of review I should leave. They reworked Wilson, and now I have depression. Not recommend Don't Starve Together. If you play public server, Reapers got no punishment when they burn your base, which you have spent like 100 mins to build. Almost 4,000 hours on record? Dude, I'm really sorry about your base. I played this game with my friends and it's impossible to win. I would screw around, not accomplish anything, and attack random wild animals for fun and then die. They should make the game easier. Of course you can't win. You're screwing around doing nothing. Lax Naked Men. True. Don't Starve Together does not have naked men. No achievements, don't at me. Where are the achievements? I heard there's achievements on console. Where the f are the achievements here? No local co-op on PC. Is there a local co-op on other systems? This game isn't targeted at the game itself. However, a game is a whole, and there are a lot of questionable, if not polluting, practices that I don't want to see popularized, and even more on a priced game. That includes daily rewards, random loot, separate website with additional account, subscribing to social medias, newsletter, watching streams to earn currencies, Steam Marketplace. Just just a Steam market. I disagree. A lot of paid games do daily rewards because they want to just get you coming back every day. Random loot? None of the loot in game is essential. Separate website and additional account? I do agree that's annoying. Subscribing to social media is valid, but it's just another way to interact and engage with the community. Steam Marketplace. Why are you playing the game on Steam? But $265 worth of DLC makes it feel less like a love letter and more like a gouge of fans. How much is the DLC? $354.63. But it's all cosmetic stuff, right? Yeah, maybe not. Too RNG dependent. Am I wrong? Doesn't feel like there's a lot of RNG. Game made it fight against you. What games do you want to play that don't fight against you? Crashes so f***ing much. Valid. My game does crash periodically. If I wanted to pick up sticks and rocks in the middle of depression, I'd go live in China. Moving on. A horrible, awful game deserves to be light on fire. Don't starve together? More like don't play together because it's all I've experienced. League is better in connection than this. I play League of Legends. No SpongeBob character mod. Don't buy. I'm talking to you, don't starve community. Where's my SpongeBob mod? This game is really stupid and obnoxious. Rather than the devs actually coming up with interesting challenges, they just throw random acts of bad luck at you over and over again. What do you expect? It's a survival game. If no random events happened, it would just be a boring game. And if they they don't spice up the boring events, then you're gonna be like, oh, it's a hound wave. Oh, the next day it's another hound wave. No, you need the variety. You need the spice. <laughs> yeah, boy. Too much farming. In all my 229 hours in this game, I've had very little farming experience. Unless he means just like farming resources, then yeah, there's a lot of farming in this game. Valid. Yes. Good overall, great design, cool ideas, frequent updates, many possibilities, and yet I found three big caveats. The combat sucks. Lag. Lack of scaling together is in the name of this game. While playing with a friend, we thought that a group of four people is the bare minimum to make the game enjoyable. Of course, if your PC server can handle it because, well, the lag. I actually agree with all of the points. The combat? Nothing to really, like, write home about. It's just move forward, move back, and hopefully you don't get hit. Lag is something I think Clay needs to fix. This game is Don't Starve Together, yet it doesn't really matter what the player count is, it just lags. This game does not scale at all. It just does not scale, which is a huge bummer. And I know good scaling exists. It could be as simple as just scaling the health. The health should scale equivalent to the number of players on the server. We play on our server, and sometimes we have 10 people on, and we're able to decimate bosses, and it's just unfair. Don't get me wrong, it's still fun. And I know in the reverse, it's also true. There are some bosses that are intended to be raid bosses. Well, what if you're the poor, unfortunate schmuck that 
doesn't have friends to play with, then what do you do? It really sets poor expectations for something that is so simple to fix. Like, I think this is a very valid criticism and some things that uh, Clay should look at. My friends and I had built a world initially at, as Endless Mode, which just reached its day 1459. Nice. However, the mode somehow switched to survival after the update. When we all died the world, the map reset. <laughs> Oh no. After the accident, I checked the other worlds hosted by me and I found that all the modes were altered to survival automatically. It's so frustrating to lose the world we've worked for for a long time. Entirely valid. Yeah, that's a huge bummer. That's a huge bummer. This game is garbage. Seven. Community isn't good and the game really isn't that good either. Play Valheim. I disagree. I think this community is fantastic. Love you. This game is cringe. Who would want to spend their time playing Tumblr garbage? I entered the world and automatically smelled the stench of cringe. I can smell the cringe. <sighs> Cookie cutters. Cookie cutters. Cookie cutters. Cookie cutters. Valid. Not what I thought this game would be. Add sex, please. Find your own horny game. My friend burned down my face. <laughs> it's not a super valid criticism of the game just more of your friend. Daddy? Why can't you sex the pigs? Daddy, chill. A community made up of people who are quite literally willing to kick players for dying a lot because they're new is just toxic and not worth your time. Sounds like you guys are finding the wrong servers. Come join our server. We're beginner friendly. Come check us out. Links down in the description below. Twiggy tree. Valid. This game made me rip out my hair. Love Abigail though. Sex update win. You guys are too horny for video games. Get off the internet. Go outside. Touch some grass. At times it feels like you can only do things one way and it doesn't have much room for creativity as it should overall. I honestly think I agree with this. It does feel like to progress you have to do it a certain way. You're not rewarded for creativity. So now that I've read through all the reviews, I can say without a doubt, game's pretty good. It's got a lot of great qualities to it. But I do think there are some valid criticisms that Clay needs to address. The game is not as optimized as it should be for multiplayer. It really is a big bummer that I can't play super well past six players. Secondly, there are aspects of the game that are tedious. I'm not afraid of playing a game that requires a lot of effort and a lot of work. The problem is that it feels like the progress I'm making is the same exact progress over and over again, where a lot of these other games, I'm progressing in different sort of ways. For example, in Terraria, despite the fact that the activity that I'm primarily doing much of the game is exploration and mining, the resources I'm mining for and the gear that I'm mining with is different. Versus in Don't Starve, you tend to be getting rocks and wood all throughout the game. And while some of this can be optimized by building farms that are closer to you rather than all spread out the map, it does still take that time. The combat in this game leaves something to be desired. I I'd like to see more from the combat than just kind of run and dodge. But overall, I think this game's A+. Plus. I think this game is worthy of the overall positive review, and I think I'd like to add to it. While this game is not for everyone, it certainly is for me. Get good. Done. Post review done. And that about sums it up. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And if you liked it, be sure to give it a like down below and tell me what was your favorite review that I read today. In the meantime, I've been Xavier and I'll see you next time.